Hi there, I'm Beth and today I'm going to take a little time to do some sewing for the upcoming Blythe Doll convention. I attended my first BlytheCon last year and my mind was blown by all the incredible things available to see and buy. I wanted to be a part of it all again this year, so applied to become a vendor. I was delighted to be accepted and even happier when my husband agreed to come with me too. We've been happily planning out all the things we'll want to bring and all the things he wants to 3D print for it. But I'll have my work cut out for me because I want to offer lots of handmade clothing and I don't want to cut back on making videos for YouTube. So I hope you'll indulge me this week in showing you some, but not every detail, of my sewing process for a couple of Blythe dress sets. We've been enjoying a little more snow in Scotland this week. The crocuses and snowdrops have been hidden underneath it all. I've been drafting and testing out a few new sewing patterns that I plan to use for my BlytheCon stock. One of them is simply named my Cottage Dress and has a darted bust and long sleeves, Peter Pan collar and a separate apron. I like to let my collection of laces, ribbons and trimmings inspire the finishing touches that I'll add to each dress. I love to buy little charms to sew onto my dresses. Having lots of different textures together makes a little outfit so much more interesting to me. I'm very inspired by the season of autumn and I'm currently enjoying collecting mushroom themed things. My daughter made me this mushroom character with a green leaf on his hat. She's such a talented sculptor. I like to tea stain my dresses to add a vintage or aged look. They're thoroughly rinsed afterwards and set on a mannequin to dry. If you're interested in sewing a dress similar to this yourself, I do have a recent tutorial for my bib front dress as well as a downloadable pattern. You'll find my patterns at bethramsden.com. I just love these tiny buttons. They're just five millimeters wide and so cute.
here my two dresses are complete so far. One made from my own custom designed fabric and one made from adorable pink mushroom fabric. I really like the little pine cone charms here and I think the tea staining really brings the fabrics together visually. I just have the aprons to make now, and as well as some decorative machine stitching, I want to add some hand embroidery too. It's mushrooms, of course, and once the skirt is added to the top, I can finish them off with snaps, leather straps, and more tiny buttons. I can bring them all together now to make a lovely little set. I like the different layers and lengths of hem, and again all the different textures to look at. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing how these dress sets came together, and didn't mind that it wasn't a full-on tutorial. I really had fun sewing these and we'll be taking a little time here and there in the next few months to make a few sets and put them aside. I would love it if you'd leave a like and a comment below telling me which season of the year do you find most inspirational and why? Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next week. Take care. Bye!